<laughs> she keeps pawing at me. Yeah, you want some more love? Okay, I'll give you some more love. So I just woke up, and look who's ready to play. Give me the ball, and I'll throw it to you. Give it to me. Yeah, drop it right there. Yeah, thank you. Whee! Yep, pretty psyched I'm not in Boulder today. I think they're supposed to get 12 inches of snow. Snow, snow, snow all day long. No thank you. And in case you were wondering, yes, I do try to stretch every morning, especially my hips. Sitting on that bike all day, hunched over, does a number on your body. Is that your ball? Can I have it? Can I have your ball? Can I please have your ball? What's the magic word with you? Just force? Give it to me. Yeah! Boom! John, I know you're a wild man and you'd rather camp out in the wild. <laughs> but what are the benefits to a hotel here? Oh, shower, Wi-Fi. Uh... <laughs> Safety in this occasion? Yeah, that's true. This occasion, we're out of sight, so... Yeah, no one's gonna mess with us. Yeah. yeah. And... Packing up. Packing up is way faster because we don't have all of our gear out. So usually when you wake up in a hotel room, bam, you're ready to go pretty quickly. I'm really happy that today we get to Zacatecas because supposedly once we get to Zacatecas, then we're, we're safe. And the locals have definitely warned us over and over about all the potential dangers. And me personally, I've dealt with a lot of this scary stuff and I don't want to deal with it again. I was attacked by Machete Point on a volcano in Guatemala once. I had a gun pulled on me in Honduras once. I was pickpocketed on a bus in Guatemala once. And earlier on this trip, we had a guy try to, you know, take our cell phones. So all those moments in life are extremely spooky. I go into every situation with every human with trust. I trust everybody. And when I meet somebody who wants to hurt me or steal something from me, it shakes my soul a little bit. It's like, wait a second, you're, you're not nice like me and everybody else. So um, I'm excited to, to get to Zacatecas today to the safe zone and then get back on the dirt. Right, Mira? Oh, you're just waiting for this. <laughs> and we are out the door into sunny Mexico. -da 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 -da. It's nice and crisp this morning. 7.30 a.m. Happy Thursday, everybody. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Some company today with my friend Gerardo. ¿Cómo estamos? Bien, muy bien. Aquí saludando a los amigos que andan en en la rodada hacia Zacatecas desde aquí de Frenillo. Muy bien, que les vaya muy bien su camino. Bueno. No crean que está peligroso. Frenillo no pasan sin miedo. No se preocupen, no pasa nada con los ciclistas. Ánimo. ¿Y usted anda por aquí todos los días en bicicleta? Sí. Sí. Aquí andamos en la rodada. En, Haciendo ejercicio y divirtiéndonos. Muy bien, amigo. Gracias por acompañarnos. Sí, que les vaya bien. Suerte eh. con todo. No pasa nada en Zacatecas. Ánimo. Ok, gracias. Que les vaya bien. I'm really glad that we met Gerardo there. He said he saw us on the other side of the highway and came across to meet us. And really fun to meet locals that are into cycling. He owns a bike shop in town. That's what he does. And he rides this road every day which makes me very grateful for living in a town like Boulder where I can go up into the mountains and see nature and not be on a highway. But he says he also mountain bikes, says there's mountain bike routes all around here. 
And he said, you know, about the safety stuff, he's like, it's mostly bad guys killing bad guys, narcos versus narcos. So he doesn't feel, you know, the danger himself. But obviously, it's out there in some form. And as all these military guys are rolling by, there's definitely, there's definitely violence out here. But not so much for gringos on bikes. We've already knocked out 10 miles and we saw this nice uh, taqueria and this guy right here has some serious energy. He is excited about his food, which makes me excited. I feed off of people's energy. <laughs> Mira. Me hacer un plato vegetariano entonces? Como quiera, amigo, eso. Me gusta tu energía. Oiga, ¿se voy a ir otra parte? Sí. Me encanta el aguacate. El aguacate. Eso, gracias. Whoa, look at those tacos, man. Yeah. You're a pro. In a matter of about two and a half minutes, this guy gave us quite a spread of food. And, you know, we're excited about it. Adios, amigo. Muy amable. Gracias por la comida. It's hard to ride when your belly's full, but we'll figure it out. Did you wait patiently for us? Yeah. You're so sweet. We are so ready off this road. My left ear is deaf. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi. You are the cutest. Our ears can't take much more of this. This is by far the loudest day, the most traffic, but we're getting close and we're hiding behind a Circle K gas station. Yes, they have Circle K in Mexico. And Mira and I are just chilling out while dad goes and gets a drink, but whoo, man. You know, most of my bike touring life, the last 15 years have been on roads. I've only started bike packing like the last five years and I don't know how I did it. <laughs> it's so obnoxious. I mean, a lot of the roads I was on were like scenic byways and a lot less traffic, but I've certainly taken plenty of roads like this and whoo, not only is it loud, but it's, it's just kind of dangerous. And on roads like this, Mira really can't be out. There's not enough room for her to be safe. So she just sits in the basket all day and I doubt she likes it either. Nope. I needed to distract myself from the chaos. There's cars everywhere. Oh boy. We're in Zacatecas, Mira. We're in Zacatecas. Yeah. Zacatecas and it's as beautiful as I remember feels like we just rolled into Europe <laughs> on the ride home from Honduras I remember Zacatecas being one of my favorite places on the entire adventure and just rolling here on these streets, these cobblestone streets again for only just a few minutes is bringing back a wave of really fun memories. So I didn't think it would still be here, but the hostel where I stayed in 2005 is right here. 
and it was actually full when we got here but they said you can put your tents on the roof if you want and that's exactly what we did and we were psyched so we made it to Zacatecas a little bit of uphill riding 2500 meters we might actually be a little bit higher here where we are right now I'll show you in a second <laughs> we got we're just camping out here in Zacatecas nothing you know just something normal. it's just normal just normal camping out don't mind us we're just gonna throw our tents on top of your roof and we're there's the best view of the entire city. Oh yeah? Um, yeah, we'll just throw our tents up here, no big deal. Oh yes, look where we are. <laughs> We're on top of a very tall building. So, I came into the hostel and asked her if she would let me up to the roof. And she said, yes, claro que sí. So we're going to the terraza. So many memories up here. Eso, gracias. Mira, yes, this is it. This is it. This is where Jeff and I had our tents. We had the view of the church right here. Oh my gosh. So many great memories here. This was the best place in the whole hostel. We were happy that they were full actually, so we got to be up here. That's the one rule, being up here, is we can't get too drunk. Yes, because the edge is right here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big, pretty far. It's, it freaks me out just to even go near there. And I remember looking over the edge here with Jeff, saying that we shouldn't get too drunk or we'd fall off. When we were here, there was no barrier. So we were here during the dangerous times. They've definitely upgraded. Here we are sitting on the roof, enjoying the sky and the sounds of the churches on a nice Sunday morn. Riding our bikes back to Boulder. We're loving it, life is good. Life is beautiful. Lots of avocados. Lots of avocados. Well, that just made my freaking day. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, I'm excited to tell Jeff. I love this town. It just has a good vibe. A buena onda. Here we are with the Payasos of Mexico. How are we today? Hello, Colorado. Yes, sí, Colorado. And I'm pretty sure, but this is where we jumped into some clowns street theater and goofed around with a bunch of uh, payasos. <laughs> Aha! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> And now for a fresa strawberry paleta popsicle. Mexico really makes some of the best popsicles in the world. They're all handmade and there's shops everywhere. And I'm just sitting here just reminiscing. Like it's just bringing back so many vivid memories. And that first adventure of my life is what set the tone for my career. That ride home from Honduras really ignited my soul in a way that nothing else ever had. And every single day on that ride was a new adventure and I loved it. I loved pushing my body. I loved exploring Mexico and learning the language and learning the culture and going to all these different towns and it is it's essentially what I still do to this day that ride is what influenced my life my career how I make money and how I explore and it's fun to be back at a very influential place on that path so cheers <laughs> I definitely remember dancing around these streets with the bands that would just lead people through the callejones, the alleys, and big trombone music and just big loud bouncy fun Mexican music and we would go through these alleyways right here, they're all over the city. <laughs> favorite things to do in Mexico is get a haircut. And I found this really cool little hole in the wall place. 
and we're gonna see what happens. They're usually pretty good. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. That only took like 15 minutes, but he just went to work. <laughs> 